can't exist on a couple of hours sleep, Michael. No choice, pal. I gotta talk to Mel about that armor plate. We buy one grade of armor plate from black steel fabricators. We use it on all our vehicles. Well, someone ordered a different grade. We gotta find out who. Maybe we're going too far with all this. Suppose it doesn't work. What if the buyers come back and we still don't make the sale? Mel, we're turning this thing around here. I thought you'd be excited. I am, Michael. I don't mean to appear ungrateful. It's just... I don't know. It's not that I'm afraid for myself. It's the others. In the beginning, when it looked like we didn't have a chance, I was the one who kept it alive. I built up their hopes. I feel responsible. You did those people a favor. Believe me, they know it. What if it all comes apart again? Well, I'm here to make sure that it doesn't. Devin, what I need to know is who ordered that steel from Black Steel Fabricators? I'll put Bonnie on it right away. What will you be doing in the meantime? Well, I'll be demonstrating a limousine for a group of buyers. If Armor Bill makes a sale, the employee buyout's still alive. I see. You know, Michael, I seem to recall asking you to evaluate the case at Armor Bill, not take over the employee's buyout program. Well, it's hard to do one without getting involved in the other. Oh. I had a suspicion that Mel Mitchell might have that effect on you. You know, Devin, it also occurred to me that this might not be the first limousine to come off Hanson's assembly line with inferior armor. Are you thinking a review? of his past client's well-being might be in order. That's exactly what I'm thinking. set for 10 o'clock. Give me a complete structure analysis of the limousine. Start with the driver's door. Hey, hey, you got a minute to do some negotiating? I certainly do, Eddie. Son of a gun. <laughs> That's a great intercom you got there. Listen up, you do some serious thinking about what I said yesterday? Ah, Mr. Knight. I'm afraid we'll be uh, starting a little sooner than we had anticipated. Sooner? The test was scheduled for 10. You promised these people a demonstration. Well, I know that, but I wanted to walk the track first. Are you saying you can't handle it, Mr. Knight? Oh, I can handle it. Bono fortuna. Grazie. Well, I'm a little gun shy, see, because my financing hinges on this buyout deal going through. I understand, Eddie. But as a very wise fellow once said, bid now or forever hold your peace. <laughs> well, I'm used to dealing face to face. But assuming that this buyout deal does work, what would you say to. Kit, you there? I'm right here, Michael. Kit, they moved up the test time. I'm just about on the track now. I'll accelerate my computations. <laughs> Working on it, Michael. 
analysis indicates the armor plate in the door is the same inferior grade I tested last night. And keep your scanner peeled for a missile launch. ETA to impact 2.3 seconds. Can you override a guidance system? Not enough time. Maneuverability is incredible. Incredible and an incredible evasive reaction. Oh, we cut that very close. I know, Michael. We sure showed him what this limousine can do. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Whoa. Pretty close, huh? A most remarkable demonstration, Mr. Knight. Thank you, sir. It was. And all your demonstrations seem to have surprise endings these days. You gentlemen ready to do some business? Well, I suppose some uh, discussion will be in order. Perhaps we should consider obtaining one of these urban control vehicles, along with the limousine. Good, good. But uh, under the circumstances, maybe we should uh, discuss at my office. Excuse me. Please. You gentlemen are familiar with the armor-built ironclad guarantee, I presume. Certainly, uh, that's uh, the specification package we received. Good. And if I were you, I would want to be dealing with the new people who will be backing it up. New people? Yes, sir. You're looking at one of them. Now, if you'll follow me, please. All right. Now, what I can do is this. Okay, big fella, snap on your intercom and hear this. All right, that was a pretty nifty movie put on me before, and I... Would you explain what you're implying by that, Eddie? You set me up. You got me to the point of making an offer and then ba -ba, slam the door on me. Now, I hope you don't pull that again. On the contrary, I'm extremely interested in what you have to say. Well, all right. Now we are starting to talk business. Michael, how'd it go? Terrific. 99% sure they're going with armor. Bill. Great, we can get it all together now. What are you trying to pull, Knight? The buyout's back on. I can't wait to tell my fellow stockholders the good news. Maybe you should hold off on that one. Those buyers didn't exactly say 99%. More like 49. They still want to check out that one other company. Then why'd you say that? Put some pressure on Hanson. See, I'm betting he's the one who's been using low-grade armor to screw up your sales demonstrations. Well, why would he do that? Stop the buyout, Mel. That's what happened, isn't it? You mean he killed one of our drivers to stop it? No, he just tried it out there again. Now, if I'm right, I just forced him to make another move. And when he does it, believe me, we'll nail him. That's it, Gene. I've had it. I'm not having any more to do with this. By tonight, neither am I. I've got to figure. I know just what I'm going to do. I'm tired of hearing that. I'm tired of you. Count me out. All right, now listen to me. You got to trust me. We're leaving for Switzerland tonight. All we have to do is just... All you have to do, get it done and pick me up here. If you're not back in an hour, I'm checking out of my penthouse and I'm heading for the airport. One hour. You know something, that, that intercom sure changes the sound of your voice. You're getting off the track, Eddie. I believe you're about to make me an offer I can't refuse. Right, right, okay. What would you say to... Excuse me, oh, everybody. hi, hi, um... We would, we were gonna... Like, just now, we were talking, you know, and we... And, and but... I am not done talking yet! That fellow just refuses to give up, Michael. <sighs> not now. Give me Devin. He seems intent on acquiring my services in perpetuity, and... Kit? Well, I was just wondering if we were trapped in the bowels of the Earth just prior to an underground nuclear test, and... We wouldn't have to worry, all right? Now, please, get me Devon. Michael, I was just about to contact you. Devon, you got anything for me on who ordered that low-grade steel? Yes, and thanks to your suggestion, we've also got some data on Mr. Hansen that you may find most enlightening. Bonnie is on her way to meet you at the semi to give you the details. Terrific. <laughs> Night Rider.